Egypt Air 990 takes off from New York to Cairo, climbing for 20 minutes. Then the captain goes to the restroom, and that's when investigators believe the co-pilot dives the plane, plunging almost 15,000 feet in a half minute. The captain rushes back, fights to save it, but all 217 people aboard die on impact. That was Halloween 1999, but the similarities to the crash in the French Alps are eerie. This is hard to comprehend for most people. Nobody can imagine this. Yet it happens. Silk Air Flight 195 went into a river in 1997, killing 104 people. Indonesian authorities could not determine the cause, but American investigators said the captain did it on purpose. Why does this happen? We really do not know very much. Clinical psychologist Daniela Schreier notes that while many suicides occur quietly and privately as people grapple with mental health issues, sometimes there is an element of rage against the world, perceived insults and injustices, making suicidal pilots somewhat like school shooters. They think this is my time and I can go out and now you're going to actually talk about me. That's the mentality of you see what you did to me because I'm paying it back. And on it goes. In Morocco, 44 people died when authorities say a pilot smashed his plane into a mountain in 1994. In Namibia in 2013, authorities say a pilot locked his partner out of the cockpit and purposely crashed, killing 33. And even in the current case of the missing Malaysian jet that disappeared last year, one persistent hypothesis, though there is no proof, is that one of the pilots took the plane to its doom.